Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a what's in my vintage Chanel timeless bag video for you. Lots of you guys have asked for this one and I was putting it off for a little while. I was gonna film it in a few months once I'd had the bag and been able to use it a lot, but I figured you guys wanna see it, so I'm just gonna make it. And I have a little helper with me. Boris is here to help me have a look what's in my handbag because he likes to sit with me when we do girls things. Are we doing girls things? Yes, okay, he likes it. Right, so let's get started. So here we have it, the Chanel. It's a vintage timeless, that is the model of this bag. And I did do a separate video when I purchased this bag because it was bought on uh, the website Vestiaire, which is a website for um, premium secondhand or pre-loved designer goods. Um, I say I bought it, Simon bought it technically, but I went through the process of buying it. So if you're interested on how to buy secondhand designer goods, you should go and check out that video. Um, but today we're gonna have a look what's inside. <laughs> Boris is keen to see what's inside the bag, obviously. Okay, so open up the clasp, which has the traditional twist lock clasp. And also this bag is a 1990 wait hang on yeah a 1991 vintage so it has the genuine gold hardware rather than the just gold tone plated hardware so inside the bag we have this main flap here and then this little zippy pocket which i have now learnt is where coco chanel used to store her love letters i don't get any love letters so it's empty now in the main compartment of the bag, that's where I'm keeping all of my worldly belongings at the moment. So let's have a look and see what we've got in here. Sorry, Boris, darling, I don't wanna smack you on the head. Okay, first of all, tissues. I mean, it is the season for a sniffly nose. And the other day I went on the tube and I haven't been on public transport in London that much this season, this winter season. Um, and so I feel like I haven't really been exposed to many of the germs that are floating around, but I went on the other day and as soon as I got off when I was going on my way home, I just felt my throat start to swell and it became really sore. And I was like, ah, curse you public transport. Tissues? Okay, you can look after those. Following on from that, max strength cold and flu tablets, just as a precaution. Okay, Boris, I'm going to put these over here. Yeah, because you shouldn't have those anywhere near you. Um, the usual, my card holder, this is by Prada. It is so old and knackered. This was in my first What's In My Bag video where I featured Judith, my Loewe puzzle bag. I need a new one. I may actually have a look and see if I can get one next time we're in Heathrow Terminal 5 because then at least I can get some cheeky VAT discount. Um, so yes, there's that one. Next up, my phone. This is an iPhone 7 Plus. So any of the plus sizes, this bag will perfectly fit this size of phone. It is a big phone, but you can fit it in there. I mean, it's still relatively slim. So yes, iPhone 7 Plus in there as well. Uh, I have my lightning cable. Uh, for my phone, obviously, because I have a portable charger in here as well. Now this is, this is gold. I think this was from, where was this from? I think this was from a brand called, it wasn't Skinny Dip. I can't remember. I'll see if I remember and I'll link it below um, because it's gold and it's just a bit jazzier than the white one. However, it does make it a little bit awkward because it's covered in this kind of fabric-y stuff and it makes it a bit awkward and a bit thicker to try and like scrunch down. So you have to really like scrunch it. <laughs> There's a lot of scrunching going on. So lightning cable followed by portable phone charger. Um, this is a branded one actually one roof social my friend anna's company she gave me this when i did a little talk you might have seen that in one of my vlogs um quite recently did a little talk for her social summit and that is the name of her company so thank you anna i am using my portable charger <laughs> and okay so if you saw the what's in my low Evie puzzle bag video and if you know me, you will know that I usually carry what I call an emergency Snickers in my bag. And this is basically my chocolate bar of choice. And 
I feel that it gives me energy, or my mum used to tell me when I was younger, because it's got all nuts in it, it gives you energy. Well, lots of you people commented and said that's actually not the fact, it's because it's down to the sugar. I know. Um, but I have run out of emergency Snickers, so I have moved on to celebrations. So I've got two <laughs> tiny mini Mars bars, which are kind of my bite-sized sauce of energy. Yes, you like those? Yeah, you can't eat those though, sweetheart. These, these are mummies. Okay, so yes, this is my two little bite-sized pieces of sugar slash energy in the form of mini Mars bar celebrations, left over from Christmas. And then I have some Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. This stuff is awesome. I'm using it on my lips mainly at the moment and also on my cuticles because I need to find a new manicurist because the place that I've been going to, I've been going there for years um, and unfortunately they've kind of gone a bit downhill. And then one more thing in here, which is my lipstick. This is actually the lip color that I've got on at the moment and it's by Clinique. Uh, the packaging, well, I think the product in general is a collaboration with Marimekko. I think I've said that correctly. Um, the color of this one is, so this is Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer. So it's kind of lip color and primer in one. And this is called Nude Pop, or the color is A47, but it's Nude Pop. It's just a really, really nice nude. It's got a slightly more pinky, rosy tone to it. And that is it. Oh wait, hang on. I've got internal pockets, hang on. Two squid, awesome. I never carry cash. Not really sure what that would be for or where it was from, but I'll put that there. And I'll have a check in the other pockets just to see if I've got anything else. Oh, sorry, oh, I'm sorry, darling. Did I just smack you in the face with that Chanel? Oh, a receipt. What have I been buying? What have we been buying, Boris? This receipt is putting the fear of God into you, isn't it? Starbucks. What did I order from Starbucks? Let's have a look. A cinnamon swirl. I love Starbucks cinnamon swirls. They are the best thing ever. They're so good. Uh, T1 classic hot chocolate caramel syrup cream. Okay, that is my standard Starbucks order. I always order cinnamon swirl. Large hot chocolate. No, 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 we don't need to. That's just a lady. Um, large hot chocolate with a shot of caramel and cream on the top. So, Starbucks receipt. There we go. And I think that is all of the pockets empty. Yes. So, a little bit about the bag. It's made from lambskin. As I mentioned before, because this is vintage, it does have the real gold plated hardware and it's 24 karat gold plated not the um, current gold hardware which is just a gold tone it's not actually plated sorry my jumpers just slipped off it's not actually plated and I believe they started doing that from 2008 onwards they completely eradicated all of the genuine gold hardware which is ironic because now the price has shot up and yet the quality of the bags has got worse. Just saying, vintage is the way to go. Now a lot of you guys were asking me after I did the vestiaire video of the actual measurements of this bag. They've seen a cat. So I'm gonna measure it for you with my tape measure just so that you guys can see. Okay, now I'm English, we use centimeters so I'm really, really sorry. Uh, so it is, 23 and a half centimeters in width by 15 centimeters in height and then depth i'm going to measure the the widest part here which is down the bottom of the bag depth of the bag is six and a half centimeters now with the strap something to note you can wear it double like this or 
you can wear it as a single which obviously does make it longer you can wear this as a crossbody but it does sit quite high up on the body because the chain isn't as long as some of the newer models so that's just something to kind of bear in mind if you do love a crossbody you can totally crossbody it have a look over on my instagram there's lots of photos and on the blog lots of photos of me wearing it as a crossbody so i use this bag as a day-to-day -day bag i know that technically it's probably more of an evening bag or that's kind of the category that it might fall into um, but it costs so much money I don't really see any point in just saving it for evenings or for special occasions because I don't really go out um, and I just love to pair this with something basic like jeans tee and a blazer I think it really elevates those kind of looks and it's just a good all-rounder bag now obviously I went for the small size and I've just given you guys the measurements so it is a little bit on the small size for fitting things in I can fit my vlog camera in here but it means that I wouldn't be able to have I probably wouldn't be able to have this in there. I could fit some of the other things in there, but I would have to um, remove a few extra bits in there and I'd probably have to sacrifice my emergency Snickers. But I have been using this bag now for about a month and I absolutely love it. I didn't feature it in my best and worst handbags video, which I did a couple of weeks ago because I felt like I hadn't had enough time to use it properly yet to figure out all the pros and cons. Um, however, I will be updating those videos as and when my handbag collection grows and evolves. So I'm sure this will probably feature in the next one. But I love it so, so much. I would definitely recommend, if anyone's looking to buy a Chanel, I would 100% recommend looking into a vintage, especially because of the hardware factor alone. To get that real gold plated hardware is just an absolute bonus. And it just adds a really, really nice touch to the bag and also to the quality. Right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and having a nosy what was inside my vintage Chanel. If you've got any other questions, please do leave them down in the comments below. And there's lots more detailed information on this bag in the how to buy a bag on vestiaire video so head over there and check that out if you want a little bit more information but for now i will see you guys next time bye boris you left me you could have stayed for the whole video he said no mum